So I was trying to save you from me coughing, but it, it's really hard for me on my computer to get this to stop when I want it to stop. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Um, so anyway, so we may get back to de desertification now that I've been distracted. Um, so we see a decrease in this land productivity. Um, and a big part of this is because of like over farming over grazing, right? There's drought, climate change, all of these things. We're going to start to see a decrease in land productivity. And um, we tend to see um, these roots are not going to be as good. Maybe we we don't have um, like the, the roots up to the plant just really aren't as good. And so they're not able to hold that soil in place. And so because those roots are not holding the soil in place, the um, we're going to see water and wind starting to take the soil away. And so in the absence of plants, we're starting to see, once again, that we're going to have um, soil erosion. So like this is basically like the next step after deforestation, right? This is going to be something that, you know, maybe it's going to happen in other places beyond just where there were forests. But a lot of times after deforestation, we're going to lead into de desertification. Um, so like I said, those roots don't hold the soil in place. And so we start to see soil erosion. And that becomes a really big issue because you're removing the topsoil where there's the nutrients like we talked about before. And this is really um, thought to be the reason why the Dust Bowl occurred in the 30s because of this over farming and not appropriate farming practices. And so that's why we think, you know, in the prairie there, why we, we saw the Dust Bowl. All right. So, um, let me go ahead and stop here before I get into this.